In this tutorial, I'll teach you some tips in order to enhance the image quality of almost any picture. So first, I'll open up my first image here. So as you can see, this image is slightly washed out and not very vibrant. So first, I'm going to duplicate the layer so that you can see a difference once I'm done. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. So there's an Options here, so you want to go in there. And for your shadows, there's no such thing as actual true black, so you want these at 10, 10, and 10. And then at your highlights, you probably want 245, 245, and 245. So you click OK, click OK there. And then now here's something else that we're going to do. You can hold Alt on your keyboard, and you just drag this. And the first part that pops up is your darkest value on your picture. So use this black eyedropper here. So the black for this one was around there. So I'll select that. And then the white, you do the same thing. Hold Alt, drag it in. So you can see it's at the base right there. So you use that, get it there, and click OK. The next step to this will be to go to Image, Adjustments, and hue and saturation. So you can increase the saturation by a little bit. You don't want too much, otherwise it'll end up looking really bad. So you probably want around anywhere between five to 10. So on this one, I'll do maybe six and click OK. Now the last part you can do is to actually sharpen the image. So you go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, and the amount I set at 100%, radius maybe one pixel, and threshold you want zero. So this image is actually kind of low resolution, so it might not look all that great, but anyways, now that I applied it, it looks sharper, and now you can see the difference between the original image and this new image. And now I'll show you how quickly you can actually do it just by going through it if you don't have to follow a tutorial every time. So here's the same, or here's a different image. So you go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and then. So in your options, you actually don't have to set it every time because it, it keeps it. So now you just go here. All right, my black is down there. Select the black. And then that white is on the right side right here. And then. OK, image, adjustments, hue, maybe 7 to 10, filter, unsharp mask, and there, I'm done with this one. So that's how you quickly and easily edit some photos just to make them look better almost instantly. This is really good for photographers to edit their images just to make them look better. Now, these might not be apparent to everyone at first, but once you apply it, it definitely looks a lot better than it did before.